Phoenix Logistics is one of the few textile factories in Uganda that is used to showcase the manufacture and export of organic cotton fabrics to the European market. Government bought a 25% stake in the firm to boost the textile sector after the collapse of TriStar Apparel where billions of taxpayers' money was invested to export fabrics to the U.S. under the Agoa arrangements. Now Phoenix has been named by the environmental watchdog NEMA as one of the leading polluters despite repeated warnings and even threats to close it down. We are issuing a notice to close Phoenix Logistics which is handling textiles and so on, they are using dyes. Dyes contain extremely harmful chemicals. We cannot allow that one to continue discharging those chemicals in the open environment. NEMA is under pressure to show action against violators and says it has taken action against Hassan Basaja Balaba's factory in Barara with many to follow. One, we closed Basaja Balaba in Barara, a tannery. We have issued notes to close the tannery in Jinja. Yeah, but why do you close others and leave others? Those people who acquired titles in wetland areas, the titles are going to be cancelled. But lawmakers accuse the environmental watchdog of being toothless, with investors continuing to degrade wetlands unhindered. They cite a petrol station that is under construction at the Ntinda Junction near Spear Motors. This country is suffering degradation of the environment because of a useless organization that was created. Everywhere the environment has gone to, to the dogs and you are here now telling us. NEMA boss Dr. Ariyamanya claims the investor has proved to be above the law despite attempts to stop him. Here you have a unique case of, um, of someone who thinks that he's above the law. Now why are you eating tax money's money if you cannot implement or do anything? If you are toothless you are now telling us, oh, we went there and the policemen were there. Some, some people are above law. Who is above law in this country? Now, why are you there? We contacted the police to assist us, and it is in writing. Several, several letters. NEMA has yet to get the 1.7 billion shillings needed to set up an environment police that parliament authorized some time back.